Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So that thing right behind me there is the Dream Sleeper Bus. It's an overnight bus that goes all the way from Tokyo to Osaka. But it's no ordinary bus. It's actually a capsule hotel on a bus. We've taken a lot of different forms of transportation and a lot of really, really bad buses, but I'm really excited for this one. They still do everything by paper, so you gotta, I literally printed off an email. I am room B2 right here. And then I think your B3 is just back there. Wow. This is we are leaving right on time. It's already 10.50. Green sleeper, Tokyo Osaka Express Night Bus. Bound for Osaka Station. Via Dantai Namba High. This is it. This is our our cute, small, but really, really comfy pod style room on a bus. There are 11 total rooms. We're on our way right now. We left Tokyo Shinjuku Station, and I can't get enough of all the cool things in this room. An amenity kit, so toothbrush and toothpaste, a wet towel, Ear lid? What's a, what's an ear lid? Oh, it's, yeah, earplugs. This I'm excited for. It says, a gentle steam eye mask. I don't know what that means. How do you think that, how's that, how's that work? Somehow that's not, there's water. Not only did we get slippers when we got all of us, extra slippers. I'm definitely taking these out. Chocolates. We have some Sony noise canceling headphones, which is pretty incredible. Let's see what they're playing. It's like relaxing lo fi music. It's really nice. Bottle of water. And we have something in this corner here that I Google translated. It's called like a Asthma thing. I think it's an air purifier. Buttons that you can choose to dim your lights, turn on more light. Wow. Which lighting is better than this one? I don't know. It also comes with two blankets for you to use. This blanket is so soft. One I'm most excited about. Nice brown color. Let's see what we got here. What do you think? Fashionable. It's really stretchy and it's like a dress almost, so got room to stretch. Yep, that's me. Right before falling over, trying to get a good picture in the middle of the night on a bus going 70 miles per hour. It obviously didn't work out, it was just a disaster. Had we just taken any of these 101 pages of courses on Skillshare before we took this bus ride, we probably would have had a much easier time and all of our shots might have looked more like this. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who wants to learn new skills or get better at the ones you already have. The first thousand people that use the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. As an added bonus, we also have our own course on there that teaches you how to get frequent flyer miles and points so that you can travel all around the world for free. Then, maybe you can also come to Japan and take one of these overnight buses and probably end up with better pictures of it than we did. But let's get to the seat because it's surprisingly super comfortable. We overheard that this seat is supposed to be zero gravity. Not exactly sure what that means, but Apparently it was designed by NASA, or inspired by NASA, so it must be great, right? Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's like a, it's like a this shape. Truly one of the best features is the fact that you have your own private pod. You can close the door, the lights go off, you won't have to disturb anyone. No one will disturb you. The Wi-Fi is really fast. 
actually faster than our place back at home. It's time to try this. They do. This feels so discombobulated. Like everything happens so fast as soon as the bus parked. It's just like, we're here, get off. And then. What an experience that bus ride was. <laughs> that was uh, that was certainly something. I think we're still processing, honestly. You know, it's like an airplane experience, right? You sleep every hour and then you wake up every hour. One of the things I noticed while we were on the bus was just all the little details that they had. Like mm -hmm. the seat could recline in like 12 different ways. Yeah. The amenities, the PJs, the slippers, everything was carpeted. So it made you feel like you were in your own home. And the fact that the bathroom had an actual Toto washlet in there was, I thought that was really cool. I've never seen one of those on a bus before. The privacy was, I think, the most important part. Everyone yeah. knows what it's like to fall asleep on a train or a bus and just you know, have some drool falling down. I could hear the person behind me opening up all their small little packages and amenity. They could probably hear me whispering and talking to yeah. the camera. Now, about price. So, this thing's not cheap. $243. So as of right now, it costs us $240. So like $120 per person to ride the super cool capsule hotel bus. It's $37 per person just to fly from Tokyo to here. So, like, you know, $80 for the two of us, something like that. And the closest and most obvious comparison is the Shinkansen to get here. And I think that's probably the way that most people will travel when they're in Japan, here as a tourist, and you're going from place to place. And that's about 14 or 15,000 per person. So that's even cheaper than the bus that we just took. But the bus is a very unique experience. There's nothing like it. Well, it's amazing. And it's a really comfortable way to get from A to B. I think at that price point that it's at, it just doesn't honestly make a lot of sense. Don't know that we'd do it again, but now we know. We're gonna go get some breakfast. It's like, try to check in. It's like 7 a.m. God, I hope they let us check in. See you next time. Bye. Iconic Japan shot.